Hello everyone. Welcome to Chinta. My name is Shahrukh Khan and in today's video we are going to talk about invariance principle and how we can use the principle to solve tricky problems. In our daily life we encounter a lot of different tasks that we need to repeat on the daily basis such as wake up in the morning, going to school, playing cricket and different stuffs that depends upon your personal daily routine. In invariance principle we are mainly focused on the variable which is not changing or which is constant over the entire repeating task in the task of going to school there might be something that will be changing like seat you sit in the bus book you carry in your bag etc but there are also something which are not changing like the bus itself the route of the bus etc this not changing variable or basically anything which is not changing is called invariance Actually the word variance means which varies and in in the invariance do not not so invariance means that does not vary or does not change over the entire task now let us take an example just take a piece of paper and a pen and write down your date of birth in the format of ddmmyyyy and i am considering five people and their birthdays as shown on the screen in the same format now add all the digits of the number and we will have another number and if the new number is not uni digit then add all the digits of the new number again and again until we get the single digit number on the screen i have done this to all the five persons so you have to do the same steps with your birthday now let's think about what is special about the final digit that we have in each cases i would like you to think about it just pause the video and think to yourself what is invariance here that means what is the thing which is not changing in every case no matter what birthday we choose so pause the video and try to find the connection between the date of birth and the single digit that we have here is a hint for you divide the ddmmyyyy that means your birthday by 9 I hope you have found the connection and the relation or the invariance here is the sum of the digit in each case is remainder when the number is divided by 9 so that's the very interesting property so we can write the invariance like this birthday in ddmmyyy minus sum of the digits till we have uni digits is always divisible by 9 and this is true for any number not only for the birthdays The above invariance is applicable to any number of any digit length. Now you can take any number you wish of any length of digits and try to verify this invariance and comment down the number in the comment box and whether the invariance is verified or not for the chosen number. So just take the number and try it yourself and try to comment down in the comment box. Okay, I hope you have tried yourself and you have verified the invariance for your number. and you are getting the idea of invariance principle and the idea is we just need to focus on the variable which is not changing over the entire repeating task let's take one more example an interesting one so take a chess grid of 8 by 8 size and eliminate the two opposite corners of the board can we cover the entire shape with 1 by 2 size dominoes without any overlapping of the dominoes the question is quite easy to understand We have a chess grid of 8 by 8 and the two opposite corners are eliminated out of the shape. And now we have a lot of dominoes of 1 by 2 size. And we can place them on the board as we wish, either horizontally or vertically, anywhere on the board. But they should not overlap with the existing domino. Now the question is, is it possible to cover the entire shape with the dominoes or not? Again, I would like you to think about the invariance here. I mean something which will not be changing no matter how we place the domino. Just pause the video and try it yourself. And if you want the hints then you can look at the screen. Okay, let's discuss the solution. One domino covers one black and one green square. So two domino will cover two black and 
two green squares and similarly n dominoes will cover n black and n green square so no matter how we place the dominoes we will always have the number of black square covered equal to the number of green square covered so here we have this invariance that means no matter how we place the dominoes we will always have the number of black square covered equal to the number of green square covered now if we look at our shape it has 32 black square but 30 green square as we have eliminated two green squares from the corner so it is clear that it is not possible to cover the given shape using 1 by 2 domino because of the number of black square is 32 which is not equal to the number of green square which is 30 So I hope you have understood the idea and the principle of invariance how we are using the invariance to solve the tricky questions and tricky problems and using the invariance the tricky problems and the questions become very easy to understand and uh, now we will discuss some more problems on the same topic of invariance principle in the second part of the video if you found the video helpful then give it a like and do subscribe to the channel for more videos like this and I will meet you in the next video